What happens when one of the kings of hard use gear creates a modern roll top? Let's check it out. The Carhartt Phyllis Backpack. What's up guys, it's George. I'm out here in the backyard with Miles. You might see him running around behind me, but pay attention to this backpack. This is the Carhartt Phyllis backpack. And like I said in the intro, what happens when you take a hard use brand like Carhartt and they engineer, they design a roll top. This is what you get out of that production. And we're gonna talk about the quality of this pack and kind of the design functions. We're gonna run through it from the bottom to the top. First of all, let's talk about who this backpack is for. This is for the guy that wants to kind of throw maybe a change of clothes, a couple of electronic items in their bags. A very simple design bag. And it's almost like a simulated roll top. It's not a real roll top. We're gonna walk through the bag from the bottom to the top and you'll see every nook and cranny of this bag. But I wanna talk about the specs for a second. This is a polyester duck canvas bag. The bag measures 19.7 inches tall, is 13 inches wide, and it actually expands out to 5.1 inches. This is a 21.5 liter bag, and it's actually a really big 21.5 liter bag. And the retail price on this is a little high, I think, a little high for this bag at 138. But let's walk through this bag, look, look at all of the features. I'll talk about kind of the quality of the bag and the design, the things I like and the things that I don't like about this bag. Cause there are a couple of things that I don't like about this bag. If you guys can kind of remember, I actually reviewed a couple of the Carhartt bags a couple of months ago. And I was really impressed by the Carhartt bags with the organization. This bag has a lot less organization than those bags. And it's like, a, like I said before, a very simple, simplistic version of a backpack. So you gotta kinda figure out if this bag is gonna work for you. So let's start off at the bottom of the bag. You get this Carhartt logo, again, this is like the quintessential Carhartt logo. You see it on all, pretty much all of their products. And it's just that tannish Carhartt swoop. And then you get a front access compartment right here, front access pocket with a Napoleon pocket on the side. And these are our YKK zips. This is a smaller YKK zip with a little lanyard pull so you can move it up and down. YKK zips always feel really good, up and down, no problem ever. And this is like a Napoleon pocket in there. I put my Power Beats right there. Uh, have some hand cream and some Burt's Bees chapstick. So you can stick all of that in there. It's like a, I don't know, like a polyester line in, in interior. It doesn't feel too, too thin, but it's not the strongest interior lining I've ever felt in a bag. Now moving up the bag, you do have like, this is the main, this is the excess for the main buckle right here. Let's move that out the way for right now. You do get this larger quick access pocket right here where there's some Velcro and some folks don't like Velcro on their bags. This does have like a Velcro closure on this quick access pocket and it's a pretty large pocket. What I stuck in there was my Note 9 right there so you can, Definitely fit that in there. It's a good size pocket. I would say it's probably about 11 by nine. Easily fit larger items in there if you want quick access to them. Even some tools, whatever everyday carry items you need on a daily basis. Let's go to the side of this backpack, right? So on the side, on one side you get a water bottle pocket. This is a pretty large water bottle pocket. Definitely will fit a 32 ounce Nalgene. Right here, I put in my Camelback chute, and that's a 20 ounce Camelback. This water bottle pocket itself is done up in just some regular kind of mesh, and it has an elastic top. So not really the best design, I think, on a water bottle pocket. It's not very appealing on the side to me at all. So. Yeah, it's just gonna hold your drink at the end of the day. You do have compression straps, uh, a bottom and lower compression or cinch straps on this bag. So you can kind of tighten it down, tighten the load, compress the load inside of the bag if you really need to do that. It's on both sides, this side and also on this side. Now on the opposite side of the water bottle pocket, you get a quick access into your main your main storage area. And this is a complaint with a lot of 
you know, roll top backpacks is the fact that I have to unroll it, clip it, unroll it to get access to my things. But Carhartt did think about that and they offer you a quick access so you can go right into your main storage, but it's not that wide of an opening. So if you want a larger item out of your main storage, you're gonna have to go through the top. This will fit probably about a 10 inch item out if you wanna pull it out but it's not gonna take like a larger, you know, big jacket, or if you put like your work helmet or something like that in, inside of this bag, it's not gonna be able to come out this side. Now let's flip this bag around and talk about the shoulder straps and the back panel. One thing that Carhartt does really well is the shoulder straps. I like the contour shape of them and I like the width of them. However, what I don't like about these shoulder straps is the padding. It feels kind of thin and it's not gonna give you too much protection between like your shoulder and a he really heavy load. So that's one thing I would have liked to seen them beef up on the shoulder straps just a little bit they are vented with a with the mesh and on the shoulder straps themselves they have some gear loops here where you can attach some additional items maybe you want to carry two water bottles or any other gear you want to slit cinch on with maybe a carabiner or something like that you can use these little gear loops on the front to do that on the top of the bag right here you do have a grab hook or grab handle this is just a regular piece of nylon webbing nothing really too impressive about this this at all now let's check out this back panel right here now this is a place where I say come on Carhartt you got to do better than this this right here is this mesh with a little bit of foam padding behind it there's really no form at all in this there's no back there's no back panel plate or flexible board so you're really just gonna feel everything that you kind of put inside of this bag up against your back the, the foam in this back panel itself is kind of thin. I would say probably a half an inch and that's being generous, probably more towards a quarter of an inch thickness. So this back panel, I'm very, very disappointed in. And this might be a deal killer for a lot of people looking at this bag. It's a very cool design. The roll top back, you know, the roll top from a hard use company right here, Carhartt, but the back panel, the back panel has to be improved. Improved. I want to see like you know some stiffness in this back panel and I want to see some air channels or something like that this right here is just you know they kind of just bolted this on it look feels very last minute so I'm kind of disappointed in this back panel and they really can't tell this and it's kind of why I do these videos is because you really can't tell this in the pictures on all of the websites now let's get into the good stuff let's get into the roll top let's talk about the way it works like I said before this is not a true roll top it's like a quasi roll top so you undo this large buckle right here and then it opens up and you have this zipper so like on a regular roll top it would just be a, a wide open type Type of, uh, of opening but Carhartt include the zipper right here it's a YKK and then this is where you access all of your stuff after you unzip that zipper right there there are some gear loops on the top flap right here I don't necessarily know what you would attach to the top of a bag like this that would require gear loops but they did, they did include them. So I just wanna kinda show them to you guys. Now let's get into the main storage compartment of this bag. You can see, like I said before, this is 21 liters. However, this is a very large 21 liters. If we can kinda open this up. I stuck in some things in this bag so you can kinda get a gist of or get a sense of how large this bag really is. So inside, I stuck my tennis shoes, these some New Balance, and guys, I wear a size 12. So these are some size, size 12 New Balance. They fit in this bag, no problem. So those are there. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have my BU, BM electronic organizer that I carry with me every day, de depending on what pack I'm using for everyday carry. So that's a pretty large thing too. And then 
inside of this bag, there's really no organization at all. It's really a black hole. I try to like zoom up inside of this bag. It's really difficult. We really need some high vis lining. High vis lining inside this bag would be awesome. So like when you stick items in, you could actually see what you, you know, what's down at the bottom of the bag. Right now you're kind of just searching around inside. You gotta like, you know, kind of try to catch the light inside of this bag to get to the bottom. So there is a laptop compartment inside this bag and Carhartt says this can take up to a 15 inch laptop and that's what I stuck in there. This is my 15 inch Dell XPS. The laptop sleeve inside of the bag is suspended off the bottom and it's padded all around. So they did take some time to organize that or design that correctly. So I really appreciate that. But the other than that, there's no other organization. The interior of the fabric of this polyester is coated in some rubberized material. And I'm thinking that's gonna help you with any type of water that may collect or you get caught in the rain. So we'll defend some of that water from getting your stuff wet inside. However, this bag is not waterproof. Like a lot of people ask me in the comments, is this bag waterproof? Is this bag waterproof? Really, most backpacks aren't waterproof unless they are specifically made to be waterproof. And they'll have that all in the title of the bag. I think I can only think of a couple of backpack companies that offer a true water proof backpack i think patagonia has a really good one but this one is not you know it's like a water resistant so overall what do i think about the carhartt phyllis pack i think it's aesthetically pleasing when you look at it you're like this bag might have a lot of potential as a roll top however once you actually get the bag and actually look at the features that the bag has to offer especially this back panel guys i really got to talk about this back panel this is going to be the downfall for this bag for me personally if you really love this bag try it out for yourself but for me this is not worth the 138 i love carhartt i'm a i'm, I'm like a self-proclaimed carhartt fanboy but this is one of the ones that i have to leave on the shelf is this carhartt phyllis backpack just because of the price 138 i can see See picking it up for maybe about 60 bucks or 70 bucks maybe even 80 bucks but 138 for this bag and it offers you two quick access pockets with no organization inside and then a, a laptop sleeve into the main compartment and that's really about it no real back panel support at all the shoulder straps are super thin Nah, Carhartt, you gotta come better than that. I think we deserve more than that in a backpack. That's just my opinion about it, guys. I wanna give you the honest opinion every time when I look at a backpack, I'm not gonna give you some BS um, and tell you that the backpack is great when it's really not. Thanks for watching George Define, guys. I got more backpacks coming up. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Uh, me and Miles will see you guys next time. Peace. Right? We'll see him next time, boy. Huh? Huh? See him next time. Yeah. <laughs>